Hello guys, good evening. How are you today? Hello. How is everything? Hello, hello. Hello, Gabriela. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm so bad. Why? What happened? It's and you, how are you today? Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, a little bit busy. And Many, th many things to do as usual, but okay. Okay, okay. Just trying to, okay, there we go. Finally, we are ready. Okay. Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. How are you? Okay, we have to. Get us started today. <clears throat> we have the unit or section two. Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, body parts. Parts of the body. And then it says by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Okay, so then we have a, this objective here. Okay, talking about vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary that refers to the anatomy. Okay, before we start, uh, do you have any questions? Alguna duda, preguntas de lo visto anteriormente. Going to okay, don't worry, right? Remember that if you have questions, uh -huh. yes, no problem. You can ask, Hi, you can ask it later, right? Eh, a veces cuando yo pregunto, tal vez en el momento no viene la pregunta, pero viene más tarde. Eh, siempre hagan, ok. No problem. Here we go. Now listen to the parts of the body. Uh, body, pay attention to the words, the pronunciation, ok. Um, yeah, and the spelling, right? The spelling, how you write it. One. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Chest. Stomach. Throat. Neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. 
then pointing to your arm and saying this is my arm remember the goal is to learn this vocabulary so do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words Okay. Hi everyone. In this Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Day. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Looks kind of blur, right? I don't know. It is my glasses. So, so do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Remember to your arm and its vocabulary. An easy way to Toes. Make sure that you memorize. Okay. Now you can see here, for example, the I guess well let me see probably. Stop it. this vocabulary the commercial okay so then we have for example head what else we have head eye ear cabeza ojos oídos nose yes and how we have the nose and then we oh, have nariz mouth. Uh -huh, the mouth Okay, we have two oh. singular Diente y dientes. and teeth is plural. Yes, then we have the chin. Chin is this part. barbilla, el mentón, a how la barbilla, right? Quijada, if you want, <laughs> right? And then, uh, yeah. okay, here's the wrist, okay, wrist, then yes. we have, uh, yes, what is it? arm. Then we have the elbow. Codo. El codo. Then we have the throat. The throat. Garganta. Far here. La from. garganta. And then we have the neck. Okay, we say on the, la... on, on the neck. La nuca. Ya le dieron la, la nuca. On the neck. <laughs> All right. So then uh, we have the other one, which is foot. One. Feet. Plural. Two. And then you have toes. Okay, toes. Uno. Son los dedos, right? Toes. Los dedos. De los pies. Because en las manos tenemos fingers. Okay, fingers. Toes, fingers. Okay, they are different. Toes, fingers. Ankle. Tobillo. Here. Yeah. The knee. Rodilla. Then we have the leg. The leg. Pierna. By the leg. Yes. Then we have the hand. Complete. And then we have one, this finger, el gordito, is thumb. Thumb. Okay, that's when they say thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. And thumbs down. Like, thumbs up. Don't like, thumbs down. Okay. And then we have okay. we have the stomach. Okay, the stomach. Como se dice? Six pack. Okay. Now, and the stomach, right? Stomach. Stomach. Chest. Chest is para hombres, right? Chest y para mujeres is breast. Okay, es el pecho masculino, chest. Es más generalizado y para ella la mujer se utiliza breast. Okay, breast. Lo voy a poner en el chat. Breast. Okay, that's for women. And for men, chest. What else? 
shoulder. Hey, ¿Qué pasó con mi intérprete? You were helping me. Shoulder. Hombro. Okay. Hombro. The back. Espalda. Espalda. Okay. Good. And ¿qué nos quedó? Nada. And... Okay. Good. And we have. Now listen, listen to the pronunciation. Okay. Now, say for example, head, eye, head, eyes. And we have ear, nose, ear, nose, mouth, no, mouth, no, food, food. Okay. Vean que por ejemplo la th. Suena como Z en Spanish, right? Tooth. Teeth. Mouth. Okay. In this case, este es una C que suena como ching. Like chino, right? Ching. 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 Then we have rest. 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 Eh, arm. 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 Okay, arm. Then we have the elbow, mm -hmm. the esquinita, right? Elbow. Elbow. Uh -huh. Elbow. Elbow. Uh -huh. Throat. Now throat. 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 Neck. 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 Then we have foot. Feet. Feet. Toe. Toe. Toes. 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 Then we have the ankle. And ankle. Knee. Knee. Leg. 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 Fingers. Fingers. Hand. Hand. Thumb. Thumb. Tongue. Tongue. Thumb. Stomach. 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 With a cone, a Stomach. Stomach. Chest. 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 Shoulder. Different. You can say chest. It's different. Chest. And sh. Che. Sh. Che. Sh. Chest. Shoulder. When you say shoulder. shoulder, it's going to take shoulder. Okay. Shoulder. Back. That's the back. back. The back. Okay. okay. So then these are the parts of the some. Okay. Some parts of the body. Okay. That we can probably use like to express problems when we go to the doctor, for example, right? I have a headache. I have a stomach ache. Okay. Uh, probably you can say mm, my <clears throat> my throat my throat hurts. Okay, me duele la garganta. My throat hurts. And then you can also say um, uh, I have a toothache. I have a toothache. Un dolor de muela, un dolor de diente, right? A toothache. Okay, so these are other expressions. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, so these are some of the words. Now in this one, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problem. Okay, and this is when we need to go to the doctor, something practical, right? Something that we need to, that is important to know. 
for example, this is expressions now, the same vocabulary, remember? Okay, we have, let's see, then we have the head, the nose, the mouth, the ear, the chin, the throat, then we have here the shoulder, then we have the back, the neck, okay, the neck, then we have the wrist, okay, where we use the watch, then we have the fingers, the thumb, then we have the arm completely, the elbow, only this part, okay, the elbow, then we have the chest, okay, then below we have the stomach, the legs, or the leg, the knee, the ankle, foot, feet, toes, okay? Now we are going to combine this with uh, problems that sometimes we have with our body parts. Now uh, listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective homesick or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, Great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. 
try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, questions? About vocabulary or expressions? Hi everyone, in this listen into a conversation title, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Okay, then you can see the word homesick here, right? This is a uh, feeling nostalgic right so when we are far from our house or when we miss cuando extrañamos right when we extrañamos la casa then we can say that then it says hey can I see how are you oh I'm not so good actually why what's the matter well I have a headache okay this is the first problem right headache backache okay and they say maybe you have the flu and then he says, no, I think I just feel a little homesick. Okay, for Japan. So then this is the problem that he thinks he has, okay, that he's nostalgic. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Okay. And then says, let's have lunch at, a, at that new Japanese restaurant. Okay. And then the guy says, that's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? Okay, here important is when you say I have a headache and then I feel homesick. Okay, I have a backache, I feel better. I have the flu, I don't feel well. Okay, that's what they say have plus noun. I have a headache, I have a backache, I have the flu, I have a stomachache. Okay, vamos a dar sustantivos después de have. And when we say feel, un adjetivo, I feel homesick, nostalgic, I feel better, me siento mejor, I don't feel well, no me siento bien, aquí es un adverbio, right? Eh, I feel great, me siento super, right? Me siento bien, okay? I feel, I feel great. I feel terrible, me siento mal, right? I feel awful, terrible. Then you're using, uh, for example, the negative adjectives say awful, terrible, miserable. Okay, um, then you can say I feel great, excellent. Okay, fine, great, terrific. Look at terrible and terrific. Okay, it's different. If, uh, if somebody tells you, hey, you look terrific, it's incomplete, right? Nice. Okay, you look terrific, ¿te ves? Terriblemente bien, right? But if somebody tells you, you look terrible, it is yes. O muy real, o muy ofensivo, right? No sé si te ves terrible. Okay, then, so by the connotation, tiene que ver la connotación, cómo se le dicen, dónde, cuándo. Okay, but terrible is something negative, terrific is positive. And they say fantastic. I feel fantastic. Okay. I feel really good. Then you're using this one. 
What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? Great. Plus now. We can follow. Probably something else that we feel plus adjective emphasize of this adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, vocabulary, and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Okay, those are the things that I consider you know we have to remark to emphasize. New vocabulary, alguna palabra nueva. O ya las conocían todas. Awful. Awful. ¿no? Awful. Es parecido a terrible, ok? Feo, horrible. Ok. Eh, y esa palabra awful la pueden utilizar, es un adjetivo que se puede utilizar con una comida que esté arruinada o algo que no sea. Oh, this. No sé, hey, this, uh, this food tastes awful. Esta comida sabe terrible, right? Probably bad. Eh, pueden decir, I have an awful headache. Tengo un dolor de cabeza terrible, right? Awful headache. Eh, uh, that, let's say that, uh, that dress looks awful. Este vestido se ve horrible. That shirt looks awful. Esta camisa se ve So awful is a, eh, es this, eh, peyorativo, pero también hay un momento en que se puede usar de una manera positiva. Pero es como una manera informal de usarlo. Ok, let me, se lo voy a poner en el chat. Can you say it? Can you say it? Eh, he sings. Okay, he looks. It looks awfully. Cuando se utiliza como adverbio, awfully good. Okay. Como decir, se ve terriblemente bien. Es una forma positiva. Okay, when you say it looks awfully good. Okay. The, but these are, you know, like uh, idiomatic expressions. Como esas frases idiomáticas que, que se forman con palabras. Okay, the adjectives. Let me see what else. Fine, great, terrific. Well, the, la diferencia entre terrible and terrific, right? Do we use this in Spanish? Lo usamos en español? No, verdad? Se usa decirle a alguien te ves terriblemente bien? No. 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 A veces hay gente que lo usa, pero ya porque ya es una traducción de esto, right? Pero realmente es te ves. En español se dice you look super bien, right? Too. Mm -hmm. es super bien. Ajá. Esa es la más, digamos, como informal para decir algo que se ve muy bien. Pero en inglés, they look, they use terrific. Ok. Ok, let's see. Then, if you have no more questions, I think the vocabulary here is good. Vamos a ver acá. Now, let's check. Y luego vamos a hacer una práctica. Right. It says, uh, listen to the conversation. Where do these people hurt? There may be more than one or two correct answers for each conversation. Okay, conversation one, head, neck, throat. Conversation two, head, okay, ah, the vocabulary. Head, the, oh, yes, the neck, cuello. And the throat. Garganta. Okay. Garganta. Okay. And hip. Oops. Cadera. No. Cadera. Ah. Cadera. Ah. Okay. Cadera. Okay. Cadera. Back. Espalda. Yes. And elbow. 
Okay, you can see here the lady, the, the back, the elbow, eh, la, la cadera. ¿no? La cadera es diferente a la cintura, right? Cintura es waist. Eso lo ven en los pantalones cuando van a los que dice waist, cintura, tanto, le dice 20, 22, 31, 32, por menos, 34, 35. Ok, eh, then uh, let me see what else. Conversation, tooth, mouth, tooth, uh, dientes. Singular, only one. Okay. Diente. Mm -hmm. Mouth, boca. boca. Yes, and the chin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, conversation four, we have the wrist here. Uh, muñeca, right? Muñeca. Muñeca. Eyes. Eyes. Ojos. Ojos. And the hand. Mano. Mano. Okay. Mano. Now that we have the vocabulary, let's see. Let's listen to the conversation. Page 80, exercise four. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here. Have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, this is to familiarize. Now let's check the, now let's pick the answers. I have one more thing. Page 80, exercise four, listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Okay, what's the problem with uh, this guy? She has a, head a, head head throat. a headache and a sore throat. Two problems. Okay. Uh, let's listen to Allison. Two. Hello. Oh, okay. Doesn't let me pose it.
Page 80. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. 2. Ow! Oh, my gosh! Are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch! Can you stand up? I think so. What? Yeah, thanks for your help. What's the problem? Three. Back, yeah, yeah. And elbow. Have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the problem? Four. Tooth. 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 Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, what's the problem? Ace, 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 and Ace. Ace. Uh -huh. Sore eyes and sore wrists. Okay. Now well, let's see. There we go. Uh, wrist and eyes, the mouth, I mean the tooth. And then here we have a problem with the elbow and with the back. And also head and throat. Mm. All right. Page 80, no, exercise just... four, listening. I have a headache. Okay, this is head A. Remember this one. Okay, head A. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so this is where ache and sore. Okay, ache and sore. These are two words that mean pain. Okay, remember ache. Ache, sore, pain, hurt. Okay, these are four words that we use to express problems, right? You have a headache, a stomach ache, okay, you have a tooth ache, okay, and then you use, for example, the word ache. Tooth ache, eh, you have also, uh, what else? Back ache, back ache, back ache, stomach ache. Headache, toothache, earache, heartache, dolor de corazón, right? Heartache. Okay. That is a song. Then you have a sore wrist, okay? Las muñecas adoloridas, right? Sore uh, wrist, a sore throat, dolor de garganta, right? Something sore. Eh, what else? Or oh, you can say my sore. Uh, say, for example, my throat hurts. My, I have a sore throat. I have a pain. You say, I have a pain in my head. I have a pain in my ear. Okay. Ya te dio dolor de ellos? Yes, right? It's terrible, right? And they say, I have a pain here. Yes. Here. Pain in my ear. Or oh, I have an ear ache. Un dolor de ellos. You see, I have a pain in my ears. Tengo un dolor en los oídos, or my ear ache, me duele en los oídos. Okay, I have an ear ache. Es lo mismo de diferente forma. Okay, y estas cuatro palabras expresan dolor. Okay, that you can have in the, okay, for the body, body parts. Okay. 
Then we have no questions. No. Oh. Okay, let me check because by the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medications for health problems. Okay, I'm gonna watch this video. Medicine. Después vamos a jugar al doctor. Any doctors here? No. No doctors. Solo empirico. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. That's that Salvadorian, right? Yeah, we always do. No problem. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take. Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson <clears throat> and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Medications. Antacid. Okay, here you have antacid. Okay, antacid. Okay. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Aspirin. 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 No aspirin. Aspirin. Como que si dijera esta, right? Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough drop. Cough syrup. Okay. Cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cough drops. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Cold pills. It's cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe. And then you have the eye drop. What you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take Okay, that's the one, right? Then it says here Give as many examples as you can Like when you say whenever is something like cuando o siempre que tengo, right? Whenever I have a headache, I take an aspirin. Okay, cuando tengo un dolor de cabeza, tomo aspirin. Whenever I have a stomachache, I get some Pepto-Bismol. Or whenever I have a cold, I take cold pills and sleep. Okay, now we're going to... Now we're going to practice with uh, things that you do, okay? Now, uh, write... Escriban una o dos oraciones de qué hacen cuando tienen dolor de cabeza, eh, cuando tienen un dolor de espalda. Okay, what do you do? For example, whenever I have a headache, but well, no, I don't get a headache. Whenever I have a, can you see? Okay, whenever I have a, a toothache, whenever I have a toothache, I take, a, I take um, what is it? This pill, an um, anaden pill. 
Okay, I take a pill whenever I have a toothache. Whenever I have a, let's say, a backache, okay, whenever I have a backache, I move my mat by back and I, and I go to bed for a couple of minutes, okay? Or I take a rest, or I take a break and I stretch, okay? Stretch my body, okay? So these are things that you do. Whenever I, whenever I have a stomach ache, I, yes, I take some peptidol, right? Whenever I have an alert, Allergy. Whenever I have the allergy, I take a chlorpheny whatever. What? The chlorpheniramine. Okay. So I'm supposed to pronounce that word. Chlor, chlorpher. Can you say chlorpheniramina? <laughs> Can you say that again? Chlorpheniramina. Chlorpheniramina. Uh -huh. Chlorpheniramina. Chlorpheniramina. Es un, es un traba lengua. Loratadina <risa> es más fuerte y yeah. es más corto el nombre. Sí, es más fácil. Loratadina y está tan igual. Ok, well, whenever I have the allergies, I take loratadina o, o whatever the other one is, o lo que sea. La... <risa> <risa> whenever whenever me, I have. Me muero ah. de la alergia y no la compro. ¿eh? Y no, ¿no? Ajá. Imagina, es de esas alergias que si se te hincha uno en la garganta, no voy a alcanzar mm -hmm. a decir. <risa> okay. Ya va a llegar morado. Ya. Yeah. <risa> a little bit more. <risa> ok. Más todavía. Ok. What else? What else you do? Uh, whenever. Whenever I have a migraine. 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 Ajá. Uh, take. Ergotamine. Ergotamine, yes. Okay. Whenever I have a migraine, I take ergotamine. Yes. Ergotamine. Good. Fine. What else? Whenever I have a tooth edge, I take an adent. Okay, me too. Yes. For me, it works perfectly. For me, it works. Another thing that you can say, for example, whenever I I have a headache, you know how to medicina, you can say. Whenever I have a headache, I go to the dentist, okay? Esa es otra forma de practicar vocabulario y, y que es correcto, right? Whenever I have a, let's say, a, the flu, I stay home, okay? And sleep, okay? Those are things that you can also do. Okay, what whenever, else? Mm -hmm. Whenever I have a flu, I take Sudagrip. Okay, good, all right. What else? You see, for example, whenever I feel, whenever I feel my throat dry, I drink water. Okay. Whenever I feel my throat dry, I drink water. Okay. Whenever I feel sleepy, okay, that I fall asleep, tired, I drink coffee. Okay, these are other feelings too. Okay, what else? Come on, think about other examples. Lo que se les venga a la mente, no importa. Practice your vocabulary. Whenever I have a pain, uh, photos. Oh, good. Okay. Sore. Okay, that's sore. Uh, sore feet or sore uh, or pain in the feet. Okay. So that sore feet. Okay. I. Uh huh. I use muscle cream. Yes. Okay. For example, whenever I hit, also whenever I hit my my knee. Okay, I use, uh, let's say, muscle cream, right? What is, the, what is the name of this? Dolocrine. Okay, that's the one. What else?
What else? What else? Tell me more. No fear. Yes, no fear. <laughs> ¿Cómo se expresa un dolor de brazos? Arm aches. Well, you say, for example, my arms hurt. Okay, let me see. Let's just see what's going on. My, okay, my arms. Es el equivalente como cuando, cuando uno hace ejercicio y está dolorido. Uh -huh. my, they say my arm, well, it's plural, but I'm going to say my arm hurt. Ahí está el chat. Ajá, my arm hurt. Y ese, ajá, después de que uno va al gym, right? Por la ajá, primera, la primera es, cámara. Ajá. ¿Y es hurt o es, no es pain? Eh, se puede, pero tiene que decirlo. Entonces, si va a usar pain, dice, I have a pain in my arms. Ok, pain usa my... la... Puede usar las dos, pero son dos formas diferentes. My arms hurt, or I have a pain in my arm. Tengo un dolor en los brazos, right? O mis brazos, no, o me duelen los brazos. Okay, the same thing. En forma diferente, igual que en Spanish, right? How are you? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, But, thanks. No problem. What else? Whenever I have a um, menstrual cramps, I take Dorival. Dorival, yes. Ah, oh, the cramps, right? The, yes, the menstrual cramps, that's terrible too. Okay, the cramps also for men. Eh, cuando jugamos a veces estamos deshidratados, right? Que nos haga un calambre jugando or something. Or, so the cramps then, terrible. So whenever I have, uh, when I, whenever I get the, the cramps, I stretch my leg and drink a lot of water, right? Also, that helps. Yeah. Yes, I take a muscle grip or I use, use, use. Uh -huh. I use, I put on, me pongo, me put on, pongo así crema, right? Yes, no, in that case it's not take, no. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Let me see, what else? Um, y cuando alguien quiere decir um, el colon, the colon, uh -huh. eh, va con whenever I have a H colon. No, uh -huh, yes, a pain in my colon. Ah, uh, whenever I have a pain, a colon, mm -hmm. take colipac. Colipac, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, good. And that is because of, uh, let's say that like, has to do with, uh, what is the name of this? Gastritis too, right? No. Está relacionado a la gastritis, no. Eh, no, pero siempre del, del estómago. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has to do with stomach issues. That's terrible too, right? Okay, good. Then uh, if you see, for example, these are different ways to express when you go to the doctor, right? It's important to, to be able to express you know, your, your health problem, okay? Whenever I, this is for example, what you do, that you can also tell what, uh, what to ask, okay? What can you do when you go to the doctor? The doctor says, what's, what's your problem? Okay, well, I have uh, stomach aches very frequently. Okay, or I have migraine, or for example, or I usually have a, let me see, a toothache, and then they recommend you things to do. Okay. What else? No more questions? No. No. Okay, let me check one more thing here. So remember this vocabulary, the pronunciation, right? Hi, everyone. In this class is for education. Name. Aspirin. Medications. Antacid. 
Okay, say emphasis, aspirin, muscle cream, cough drops, and cough drops. Okay. Muscle cream, aspirin, cough syrup, cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever. Okay, so those are the sounds. Hey, Jose, can you please read the. The objective here in the 2.7. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic use is used in real life setting. Okay, so we have Positive and negative imperatives. What is an imperative? Mm. An imperative is, mm, well, there are verbs, some, uh, some verbs, right? That uh, we use to give orders, commands, instructions, okay, or rules. For example, or you give instructions to somebody to say, for example, stand up, close the window, uh, write your name, tell me your name. Okay, you begin the sentence with a verb, right? So sometimes if you want to cook, si quieren preparar una taza de café, okay, you say, for example, put the water in the, in the cup, Open the oven, okay, or the microwave. Put the cup in the microwave. Close the door of the microwave. Set two minutes to heat the water. Then take the water out. Then add the coffee. And then add the sugar. Then stir, okay, stir and mix, stir the coffee and water and sugar, and then drink it. Okay, if you see, I use verb, drink, put, open, close, okay, um, add. So, and these verbs are imperative verbs. Okay, lo llama en inglés imperativo. Pero son verbos para dar instrucciones, a veces orden, right? Eh, ¿Quiénes dan órdenes? Los papás. Los padres, los maestros. Ah, los maestros, ok. Studying, study. Ok. Homework for tomorrow. Dream in English, ok. That's what they say, dream in English, everybody. Ok, so those are commands. Esos son imperativos. O un papá que le dice al hijo, clean your room. Ok, limpia el cuarto. Ok, eh, brush your teeth. Vaya a lavarse los dientes. Okay, uh, turn off the computer. Yeah, apague la computadora, right? Take a shower. Take a shower, okay, good. And si a las cuatro de la mañana los pobres niños ahí taking a shower. Good. So take a shower, what else? ¿Qué otro comando? Do your homework. Do your homework, exactly, right? <laughs> eh, y depende de la connotación y lo que se diga, pueden ser también a veces consejos, right? Por ejemplo, cuando está pegado en aquí, hey, study more, study más, eh, listen to your father, escucha a tu padre, right? Eh, read good books, de buenos libros, okay, so then, you see, you are giving advice, estos verbos se ocupan de diferentes formas, right? So then, this is what we're going to study here, action verb with imperative form. Hi everyone, in this class you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. 
Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, um, basically, cough that, syrup. If you see, those are the imperative ones, right? Affirmative and negative. Okay, this is in a positive way. Okay, so then uh, watch this video, then uh, also practice the vocabulary. And I will see you on Monday, okay? So Monday we have, uh, yes, tomorrow, tomorrow Friday, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then on Monday, eight o'clock, and just practice the uh, imperative verb, okay? Then, bye bye. Have a good night. Take care. Good night, bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good weekend. Okay, great. You too.